for all that he has done for us. You know, many had planned that they would be here today or they would be on earth today. But somehow, they are gone. But by the grace of the Lord, by the mercies of the Lord, we've not been consumed. The Bible says, if not, if not that the Lord has been on our side, the lifter up of our health, our shield, our God, the El Shaddai, same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Father, we thank you this morning. Darkness, my God, that 
never stop working. You never stop. You never stop. even when I don't see. Even you. when I don't see you, you you're working. Stop. Even when I don't see you, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop, you never stop when I don't see. your name this morning i want you in your own language say something good to him this morning lift your voice lift your hands and just appreciate him you have just seen the last sunday in this second um, um six months in the year 2023 give him all the praise this morning give him all the praise this morning give him all the praise all glory all honor give it to him this morning lord we bless your name Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor, we serve a living God. We serve a living God. Even the devil knows it. Tell your neighbor, even the devil knows it. That I serve a living God. Amen. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows, say not true, oh. I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows, say not you the rain, oh. I serve a living God, oh, oh. I serve a living God, oh, oh. the devil knows, say not true, oh. Not true, not true, oh. I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows, say not you the rain, oh. If you know you serve a living God, I want you to show it the way you dance. Amen. Now you're the rain, 
the devil no sin are true oh. I serve a living God oh everybody no sin are you the rain no I serve a living God oh, oh. I serve a living God oh you yeah. yeah. the devil no oh. sin are true oh. sin are true, oh. true oh. Oh. I serve a living God oh everybody no sin are you the rain Yeah. 
Jesus reigns, he reigns. Come to somebody, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. He reigns forevermore. Three more times. Sing, he reigns, he reigns. Oh, Jesus reigns. taking over. Let's give him praise. Let's exalt him. What is that name of that battle? Career battle, marital battle, financial battle, earth battle. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. He said, hold your peace and see that it's in the salvation of the Lord. Let us say, God will thank you for coming into being concerning every matters of my life. Let's exalt him. Let's lift up our voice and say, God will give you praise. We acknowledge you today. The Bible says, from, our, from where? For with joy we shall draw from the well of salvation. We thank you for this joy. This joy that is in us, that you have given unto us, that we can assess your throne this morning once again. Once say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise for the whole week. Let's bless him. This is the last week of the month of June, the half of the year. Let's lift up our voice and say, Baba, we give you honor. We worship you. For privilege to be alive, to see the end of this month, we thank you. To see the half of the year, we want to thank you. Because we are going to see the what? The, the many half of the year and years to come. Let's give him and acknowledge his privilege. This is a privilege. It's an opportunity to wake up every morning. You didn't wake up yourself, he woke you up. He said, he woke up, up to hear him. Thank God for privilege to hear him once again this day. I want to say honor, adoration unto the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We're going to use scriptures to pray. And I want to encourage us we do it together. First take note. If you want anything good today, it must be from the well of what? From the joy from us. To draw from well of what? Of salvation. Today is open. If it be that open. Abby. Today is open. Privilege. Open check. Open victory. Open celebration. Open lifting, open recommendation, commendation is our portion. So let's come to the throne room of grace this hour and say, God, we thank you because we are going to draw from the well of salvation, joy everlasting. Let's lift up our hands and say, God, we thank you. Let's exalt him as you are thanking God. Let's open our Bible to Luke chapter 1. 
Bible says, through Luke chapter 1, verse 14, 8. It says, through that tender mess, O God, whereby the day spring from on high visited us. I want to thank you for your visitation. From on high, through thy mercy, tender mercy. Luke chapter 1, verse 14, 8. Uh, 78, sorry, 78. I want to say, God, will thank you. Through that tender mercy, there's a visitation today in this service. Let's ask of the Lord, take all the praise. Because there is a visitation. Visitation concerning you, concerning my home, concerning this nation, concerning the country that we represented before we came here. I want to thank you for your tender mercy. Tender mercy. Open your mouth and say, God, through that tender mercy, it's not by power, by might. You see, through that tender mercy, you are remembering me today. You are remembering us today. Through that tender mercy, you are visiting us. You are taking care of us. Through that tender mercy, Galakato. He said, What is man that you need? Oh, visit. What is man that you are mindful, son of man that you are mindful of? I want to thank God for being mindful of you, for being mindful of your family, for being mindful of your children, for being mindful of your wife, for being mindful of your home, for being mindful of this nation, for being mindful of everything that pertains to us. I want to say, God, thank you for your tender mercy that has procured your visitation. Thank God for today's visitation, today's service. I don't know what you know when someone visits. A glorious guest is going to visit you today. The God Almighty is going to visit you today. La Tobaya Kataba, there's an open heaven upon your life. Garando, Baratondia Sotaba, Jeketa, Lababondo Sotaba. The spring will be ever new. It's a day spring. It's a day spring has visited us. Who is that day spring? Jesus. He has visited you. He will visit us today. He will continue to visit you through the tender mercy. Galango Rokotolia Satababa. Jetela Babos. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's go to verse four, uh, 79. You see, he giveth light to them that seated in darkness. God will give life to light to who? To your situation. The light doesn't just mean direction, it means life. In him was what? Life. And that life became the light of man in John chapter 1. That's what I'm saying. He said, he given, when you are in darkness, doesn't mean you are, a, you are passing through a situation that you, have, you don't have control over it. You don't have a, a way out of it. He said, I'm going to do what? Provide light. I'm going to take what? Take you out of it. When light comes, there's a direction. There's a, when the light comes, what? It, there will be an opening. What does the Bible say? It says, this present affliction cannot be compared. There may be afflictions, but the light of God is coming to bring an end to it. Let's lift up our voice and say, God, let there be a visitation of your light in every matter of my life. Let there be a way out of every issues of my life. He said, he give. It's not that you work for it. It's God. Give me light concerning this matter. Give me light concerning my children. Give light to me concerning my career. Give light to my immigration. Your immigration may, may be, you don't know what to say about it. I want to say, God, give light. Give light to it. Give light concerning my heart. Give light to my what? To my children's heart. Give light to my going out and coming. I don't know what to become of me next tomorrow. But there's a direction. There's a light coming upon your life. La tu sataba. He said, it will give light. In the shadow of the it will guide your feet. When you're in a tight corner, it will guide you. The next scripture says, it will guide you. Where? In the shadow of death. When people are about to make mockery of you. God will show up for you. La tupa. Jeketan le borondi abasotaba. Jeketa ba 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 ba. Rekito balinta la ba ba ba. Jeketa la boroto ba ba ba. Jeketa ba ba. Rekuto la suta ba ba. Rakuta ba ba ba. Jeketa ba. Lindo rotopa. Jeketa la ba 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 ba. Rekendo rokoto ba i katoshka ba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, whatever you say in my present, I will do what I will do. I want to pray. I don't know what you want to ask God. Today is an open check. He said, if it are open. I remember then I was in form three. Uh, we call our Bible, uh, what do you, religious study teacher. That's his name, if it are. We just, that's his name. We don't call his name. That's his name. Anytime he comes to everyone, say, if it are. It's open. When something is open, means it was locked before. Something was wrong. Is it not so? And today God is giving an open check that whatever is wrong and then comes to it. So I want you to profess her as a servant of God. Like mommy said, Ezekiel 37, 
Am I right? Prophesy. It draws his attention. God is trying to draw attention to things that we have power to create. God has creative power. We also have creative power. So we want to create something out of today's service concerning your life. We are going to create. God, thank you for this opportunity that is a door open for me. Speak concerning that door. Bible says, a virtual perfect door is opened up. But the Bible says, there are many adversaries. So you need to address the adversary that want to stop the manifestation of your life. Galando Borotonia Seta. I stand by the word of God. If God be for He said, whatever door God opens is open forever. Every door that God has shut concerning your life is shut forever. Garando Burutalanto Sotaba. Who is the man that will speak when God has who is the man that will prophesy when God has not spoken? Everything that is speaking against your life, we stand against in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God, you will smile on us today. And I will say, God smile on Israel. God smile on us. In today's service, bring smile out of today's service. Let it be from my belly, like rivers of living water. Let the outcome of today's service bring give birth to rivers of living water. Let it give birth to flow, everlasting flow, everlasting flow of joy, everlasting flow of good news. Every aspect of our life that needs divine settlement, receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus. I enforce it and I make a decree of every matter that is looking strongly contending with the manifestation and the glory of God in your life. I say a hand comes to you this morning. Thank you everlasting Father. In Jesus name we pray. Good morning church. Praise the living God. It's announcement time. Do we have any first timer in the house today? First timers. Please can you show by Hallelujah. Choir. Choir. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Cuz we can see all over you. The glory of the Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. Thank you, choir. All right, thank you so much for fellowshipping with us. You are welcome, and we pray that as you are here, that God will grant the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. This is an amazing grace family. If you don't have any home church, you are always welcome here. This is a place of warmth, worship, and the word and wonders of God. God bless you. Uh, our service starts with Sunday school by 9 o'clock to 9.40 a.m. And Sunday service by 9.40 Bible study, 7.30 p.m. every Wednesday on Zoom. Evangelism, second Saturday by 4 p.m. And on fourth Saturday by 4 p.m. at church. Prayer meeting every Friday by 7 to 8 p.m. at church. Men's meeting every first Saturday of the month by 11 a.m. It's either in church or on Zoom. That will be announced by the men's fellowship uh, coordinator. If you are not in that group, please meet uh, Mr. Washeni or Pastor or Brockway right here. Thank you. Our women's fellowship meeting is every third Saturday of the month by 7 p.m. on Zoom. Uh, for all women, if you are not in that group and you want to join, there's a lot going on. Please meet uh, Mommy Florence right here in front in green. <laughs> to add you to the women's WhatsApp group. Thank you. Young adult meeting, it's every third Saturday of the month from 12 to 2 p.m., either in church or in Zoom. It's usually announced. So for young adults in the house, if you want to get into that group, do well to meet uh, Brother Okpe or Brother Ario to add you to that group. 
Command the month is the last day of every month. And for the month of June, it's going to be this Friday. Thought it. It will be a vigil from 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. And it will be in church. And for that reason, there will be no 7 p.m. prayers on Friday. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Sorry about that. So 7 p.m. prayers for this Friday is canceled. Please take notes. All zonal leaders, small group leaders, and their wives will be meeting with pastor on July 1st, 2023 at 7 p.m. on Zoom. All zonal leaders and their wives. All leaders in the church, that is the head of department and ministers, will be meeting with pastor on Sunday, July 9th. It will be in person and after service. Leaders, please take note, it is very important. Light Up San Antonio is coming up on July 21st. Location is Buena Vista Theater, UTSA Downtown Campus. The Yaya National Convention will be taking place in Houston. This is for young adults. Date is 20th to 22nd of July, 2023. The just concluded one was the Continental Convention. This is the national one. Please take note. Continental and national, two different things. It will be a great time. More information will be in the YAP WhatsApp group. So again, like I said, if you're not on that group, please find time to get there. Workers and Leaders Fellowship every Sunday by 8.30 a.m. and Sunday School is a must for all workers. Please be encouraged to join any department of the church that you want, that you find interest in. And for you to join that, de that department, please meet our Dicanario or Pastor John, the, tall, the tallest at the back. Thank you. And for prayer and counseling and general information, please call this number 512 734-7352. Again, that number for prayer and counseling. A distraction to any other person. Thank you and God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Man, we're supposed to be smiling now. It's Sunday. It's Sunday and it's offering time. So this is the time to tap into God. Praise the Lord. Um, it's offering time, but before we go into tithe and offering, can we quickly open our Bible to Malachi 3.10? It's a popular place. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgate of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. This is God asking us to just try him with our tithe and offering and see if we are not going to be blessed. Me, I've tried this, I'm doing it, and I will keep doing it. God has been blessing me, and I know a lot of people have been doing it. So this is God challenging us that just throw something in and see if you are not going to be blessed. God is giving us opportunity to come and tap into what he has to us. And as we do this, may we be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, we will have our online platform, the Zale, the um, Cash App and all that. And if you want to drop the offering in envelope, we have the envelope at the back of the seat. And as we do this, may we be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Choir. Shall we rise up as we give our offering with a dance offering to the maker this morning? Hallelujah. Let me see the joy of the Holy Ghost in your heart as you give. When we run to him, when we call on him, we will lift our hands. We will lift our hands. Come, let's praise his name. Holy Saint of God. One more time, let's go. When we call on him, he will answer us. When we run to him, he will run to us. When we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come, 
all his praise is his name. All his praise of God. Hallelujah. Oh, sing for joy to God as friend. Oh, sing for joy. When we call on him, he will answer us. When we run to him, he will run to us. When we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come, let's praise his name. All his saints of God. When we call on him, he will answer us. When we run to him, he will run to us. When we lift our hands, he will lift us. Come, let's praise his name. Oh, he saints of God. Oh, 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 sing for joy to God as friend. Oh, sing for joy to God as friend. As friend. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah, hey, is the sound of victory. Hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, oh, let the sound of rejoicing fill his Oh, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, hey, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we bless you for this opportunity you have given us today. And we strongly believe that your word that you have said here in Malachi 3.10 is going to happen into our life in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for those who are willing to give but that don't have today. That coming Sunday, Baba, you will surprise them and bless them mightily. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, let every tongue, every tribe, and every nation shout, Hallelujah. You are not saying it as if you mean it. I want you to shout another Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
portion this morning because he will continue to sing hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Now how many of us were here yesterday for prayer? Ah. Wow, 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 wow. How many of us were online for the prayer? Wow. Church, you are missing. Seriously, you missed. When a call for prayer is made, take a break. Take a break. I know you need this dollar. Amen. But this is something that comes once in three months, not every day. When we gather together to pray, you don't have any mountain, prayer mountain to go. If we can gather together to pray, you won't need to be calling anybody back in Africa to go and pray for you on your behalf because something is happening. You have set to it in the place of prayer. So anytime we call for prayer like that, seven hours will cost us nothing. Amen. When is, we spend eight hours because we're the only communion. We didn't know that we spent eight hours. We didn't know when the time went. Amen. And especially when each family is being called, because we call it family deliverance. Each family is being called upon to pray for. And you are not here. I'm trusting the Lord. 
that the Lord will reach out to you today. Don't be in haste. Because if God took over, God is in, not even with God. Because the Spirit of God is going to take over. And if you don't come yesterday, don't check your time. Amen. Because I want you to be blessed by force. Amen. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Join me as we receive the ministry of God's servant. Pastor Amos Okemiwa is the provision pastor. He's our father to the family. And he's the provision pastor of... address it to the root in Jesus name Amen. after prayer yesterday God gave a lot of victory I'm speaking by the mouth of the Lord that serpent lose his head forever in Jesus name Amen. that problem that started February 22 years ago in the name of Jesus, come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we pray a prayer before we sit down? Can we say, Father? Father. In the name that is above every other name, address situations in my life. Address every situation bordering my life. Can we pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Father, in the name of Jesus 
address every situation in my life to the root. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, address every situation. Are you praying? Tell the Lord every situation. Every situation that borders my life that are here today physical and those who are watching us or those who will watch hereafter address our situation to the root in Jesus name. Thank you father. Blessed be your holy name. Speak to us today and touch every part of our lives in Jesus name. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Tell two or three people by your side, tell him or her, you will be above only. You will never be beneath. You are going beyond limitation. Can you tell two or three people around you? You may please be seated. Amazing Grace, Austin tells us, you are going far beyond principality and powers. In the name of Jesus. We will be praying at the end of this message about the word Ephrata that is open for this church and everyone hearing the sound of my voice, you will never know better yesterday. New doors shall be opened unto you. Opportunities shall be opened unto you. Those things you are belonging to here, the good news begin from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. These I share with my brother until I was given a message for you. I've longed to dwell on this message God gave Ephrata for me and my church for July. However, God that I plan for everyone have a message for you. And I'm preaching on the subject I call going beyond limit. Tell your neighbor, I am going beyond limit. Anyway, I don't know where the person is going. Ask your neighbor, where are you going? I am going beyond limit. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. But I wish we start from verse 12. Verse 13 is the key word. The law shall open unto thee is good treasure. Amen. The heaven shall give rain unto thy land in season. Amen. And to bless all the works of your hands. Amen. And thou shalt lend unto many nations. Amen. Thou shalt not borrow. Here come verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee head. Amen. The Lord shall make you head. Amen. The Lord shall make you head. Amen. And not the tail. Amen. And thou shall be above only. Amen. Thou shall not be beneath. Amen. If thou hearken diligently unto the commandment of the Lord thy God. Which I command thee this day to do. And to observe them. Going above limit. Beyond limit. Means. The word of God coming to pass in your life. That you are going to go. Above suppose equal. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Testify. That the thought of God towards us is thought of good, not of evil. At a time, Gideon was worried. When, even when angel brought message to him. O oh man of valor, go in thy strength. He said, what are you talking about? What message am I hearing? If God is with us. Why all these things are happening to us? Listen to this. That you are going to be above only. That you are going beyond expectation. That you are going far above equal. Doesn't mean certain challenges will not come. 
There may be challenges. There may be hindrances. There may be opposition. Sometimes there may be a discouragement. But once you can be all that took Joseph beyond where he was, was just two dreams. Many of us, we are more better. We are on the advantage. Many of us have been dreaming for too long, vision for too long. But the power to become what God has given to us is what many people lack. This man did not have many dreams. Just the dream he had when he was younger, he pursued it. He was focused until he became what the Lord Almighty wanted him to be. It's not that there wasn't challenges. There were opposition, but he overcome them all. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 34 verse 19, that righteous person will suffer affliction and temptation. He said, but God will deliver him from them all. There are many affliction and temptation that somebody standing we have. In the name that is above every other name, the ultimate plan of God for your life, for my life, shall be accomplished in Jesus' name. There are three tendencies for everyone that God has proposed to go above limits. There are three possibilities in life. If you are going to be above only, you are the one that will determine where you want to be. And I ask you one more time, everyone in amazing grace, where are you going? And so will be your portion in Jesus' name. Number one tendency is somebody can live below expectation. Ex Ecclesiastes 10, 5 to 7 says, I saw a provocative things under the sun. I saw the kings walking barefooted and I saw slaves riding on horses. In other words, you find wrong people in the high places and those who have been entitled to it were being denied. Let's look at the case of Esau. His father knew what the Lord said about Jacob. He decided on his own. I am your father and there is a legitimate and Leviticus order to give unto your first son double your inheritance. Your inheritance in double fold. He intended, he knew already Jacob had been settled by God but he wanted to settle him. But that which his father proposed for him was diverted. In the name that is above every other name, all that God proposed for you, you will not miss out of the plan in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If God is talking to you, can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Genesis 11 from verse 1 to 5. The statement of God to Abraham when he appeared unto him, he said unto him, that I am the exceeding reward. He said, Father of nation, have I made thee? In other words, not that I'm going to make you, I had made you. In other words, God is telling him, Abraham, you are living below what I expected. There are some of us, God will have taken us higher than where we are, but sometimes, we arrogate and take pleasure in that what we have achieved. Anytime I remember those people we walk close with, no matter the level or whatever they attain, they tell you, like my father in the Lord that the Geo, he tells you the best is the best is yet to come. He will tell you we have not arrived. My father, my mentor. That pastor there, me, he will tell you the best is yet to come. It does not matter any landmark achievement. They tell you we are still far behind where we are going. We should not live our life like young prophets. Of a truth, in First Kings 13, he achieved what the Lord Almighty wanted him to achieve. But there are still many things to accomplish. He settled down. Consequently, it was the fall. 
all the challenges of this world, the lion of this world, we're not able to swallow your glory in Jesus' name. Joshua 13 verse 1, apparently, any man like Joshua at this time of history, we feel he has arrived. A man have Cadillac, Nemo sin, live a mansion in the country where you are living to get a driver. I've suggested driver to couples of people in different states. They will laugh. Said, Your stress is too much. Why don't you get driver? Some of us, two drivers were attached to us. I said, Pastor, that's what will kill me. So, however, this man feels relaxed. Everything is at his back and call. But the Lord said to him, regrettably, Josh, you are doing well. But look at your age compared to what I want you to achieve. I've been privileged to see those who die and never fulfill their vision. Apart from the Bible, dead people do cry. When they look back to what they could have achieved in life, Moses could have gotten to promised land. He has done valiantly. Where you are is not the final bus stop, my brother. There is a place better than where you are. Let me tell your neighbor, there's a place better than where you are. God said to him, Josh, you are old and striking in age. There are yet many things for you to accomplish. So as many of us today, Whose life destiny are far below expectation that God have designed for you. As the Lord Almighty live it, today there will be a shift. Ah, that amen is not looking like a shift. There will be a shift. You will be moved from where you are far above where you used to be in Jesus' name. Number two, tendencies, you can live up to expectation. You can live up to expectation. Genesis 26, verse 11 to 25. Your pastor told you that you should not be in a hurry, but we're time bound. Except when we go into prayers. Be careful for nothing, brethren. In all you desire, in all you pursue, you must to go into thanksgiving and prayer and make your request known unto God. No matter what you are going through, no matter how good or sit a situation is, the rules of the kingdom, he wants you to ask. You don't assume he knows what I'm going through. Yes, he knew. He was in the situation he knew, he will still ask you. He knew that what he's going to do, John chapter 6, he was still asking disciples, where do we find bread? It can be a test of intelligence or faith, but he still wants you to ask. Everything you ask today, may you have answer urgently in Jesus' name. You will live to expectation. People can say, there is no reason for Isaac not to live up to expectation. But there are people who, in, who have inheritance, like you and I. Revelation once he said, we have been made kings, but are we living as kings? We have been made kings. Somebody told me about your pastor. At the camp before I came in, he said, since when we are in Bible college, that guy has been living big. It's like he came from a wealthy family. He began to demonstrate and tell me what he used to do when they're in class. That thing is in you, my brother. My father told me a story of an eagle whose egg was picked by an hunter who did not get anything but get to the nest of eagle, took the egg, he took it home and put it under his chicken that was hatching, eventually he asked the, all the birds, and whenever the children go out to eat, they will eat. Other were going home. This eagle will say, I'm not satisfied. 
because eagle are not make to walk on the earth. Run to their hidings. And they beckon on him. Come or you die. He said, I would rather die. If I can live a fulfilled life. I said I'm not satisfied. I will remain here. And he look up. And the bed up. Up. Look down. This is a prey. And while that one is coming down. He attempted to fly. He fell for second third time. He said, I think I can fly. I'm different from these people. While he took the last attempt, he found himself flying higher. He never came down again. The enemy said unto the man of God, Elijah, come down. Look at your neighbor. It can only get better for you. You are not professor. It can only get better. Tell your neighbor, you will never come down. All that want you down, we go down for you. So, Isaac is part of confrontation. Hatred, a old nation, not a city. Was against him. Banished him. He left. They took from him. Wells dig during the days of his father. The one in servant dig they took. He was left with his vision. He was left with his passion. He was left with the grace of God upon his life. He left and gave those inheritance to those who spoil it. All your spoiler shall live in regret in Jesus name. Eventually they came to meet him. In Bathsheba. Isaac. We have discovered you are greater than us. There is no comparison. Tell your neighbor, there is great seed of greatness in you. Nurture it to become what God wants you to be. So, his father can be disappointed in that he gave him inheritance so that his son will not suffer or be a mediocre. But at the end of the day, in spite of all these challenges, Isaac find himself soaring higher. He lived up to expectation. He conquered trials and challenges. What the Bible tells us, even though we face challenges or trials, James 1.12, this world is not favorable for those who are mediocre. The world is too difficult for them. Those who cannot look at challenges and the face and confront it. Isaac did. God in heaven, his people knew our father live up to expectation. Wherever your leader, your father reach, you are going beyond it in Jesus name. For Samuel 31 to 9. I take pleasure in reading the Bible. But I'm summarizing to you because they are long verses. David was dispossessed, his wife was dispossessed, his children and his inheritance. And people living within him. The first thing David did, he joined the league of the weep. Uh, those who cry, mourners. Tell your neighbor, weep not again. Please say it again, say it again. Some people will say, no, 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 I'm just being emotional. That is what enemy want to see. Now in the name of Jesus. David came to himself from verse 5. The same man I mentioned yesterday. Abitia, Abitia. Go and bring a field. Those of you who, doesn't, who are here yesterday, you could remember. He brought the a field. He asked the Lord. The Lord said pursue. Verse 17. From verse 17 to 19, those who came to give him attack, they fled before him. And they be recover how many? All. All that Amalekite have carried away and rescued his two wives. Verse 19. Can you please join me to read? And the, again, again, whether small or great, Whatever you have lost in the course of pursuit or challenges or opposition, may God give you back in double. Amen. 
Tell your neighbor, you will live up to expectation. Say it again. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing wrong if you know your wife's salary, but something is wrong if your wife's salary is what is taking care of home. And if it happens, you are not expected to remain there. You should transit into the original plan of God. I don't know how provocative it is for a man to be fed by his wife. If there is anyone here facing such thing, you wouldn't know why Peter said to that lame man. He looked on them, Acts chapter 3, that he would get something from them. Look at Peter's reply. Look on us, we are two. But sliver and gold, huh? he doesn't say we have not. I so look, I don't know what is the pocket of John. No. I have not. And if it happen, it should be temporary. The same Peter Luke chapter 5. He has so much to give to people. Tell your neighbor, you will live up to expectation. Your, oh my God. Tell your neighbor, you will live up to expectation. Do you know the joy in it? Anything happen, your child tell the teacher, don't worry, my father will take care of it. But you tell them some things, they begin to cry. They know they are the one that will encourage their father when they get home. Daddy, my teacher told me, oh, we'll be well. Tell your neighbor, I will live up to expectation. Say it one more time. I see you smiling. Say it again. Every wife that doesn't help their husband, they should try to be a good woman. I don't, I'm not against having same account and I'm not supporting. I'm not supporting. I'm not against because I've done it and I'm the one that spend all the money. So instead of denying my wife, I have yours, I have my what you need, I give to you. If it works for you, fine. <laughs> the man live up to it. No woman can call him idiot. If the, if the father is still living, I'm sure the wife of Isaac will be on her kneel to greet the man. Why? It live up to expectation. Number three. You can live above expectations. And I love this. A certain song says, Father, don't let people say that to me again. Look at the man that said he served God. Look at his shoe. Look at his clothes. Look at the food he's eating. When enemy batter one brother's life, when he enter into canteen, he can ask for four wrap of <laughs> four wrap of swallow. I said, what type of meat? He said, today's weekend. I don't eat meat on weekend. I said, I don't eat meat on weekend. Or they should give him size of pomo that is not soft. So that at least before you papa too much. That if many people have reached that level, God has brought him, perhaps fame, honor, riches will have derailed them. And that is the reason we need to pray. Because sometimes you think you are there, sir, you are not. When you get among the professor, they will still say, no, we are pro, but this one is a emeritus. When you go among the medical doctor, they say, no, this is our guru. May you be a voice. Yeah. That voice is sounding like echo. Yeah. In your family, you'll be a voice. Yeah. In this nation, you'll be a voice. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the book of 1 Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. What do I mean? Why this man? Thank you, my brother. Let's read. Jabez was more honorable, 1 Chronicles 4, 9, 10, than his brethren. The historian forgot to start with his problem. When God said to your case, your past problem is irrelevant. Testimony that will swallow the story of yesterday. The glory that will swallow the story of yesterday. May you have it in Jesus name. The first introduction is this man is more honorable. He's more honorable till now because he's clam. Nobody ever go down. In the first instance, he, he hail from the line of Judah. There's no reason for anybody from that line. You can't be raised with sleeper spoon and they have people raised with golden spoon, sleeper spoon, and today they are lost from that which the Lord proposed for them. The Bible said his mother called him Jabesh. And he was living in wreck. But he called on God. And God brought him among the supposed equal to be a frontliner. You are the next in line. In the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I don't know how far you are going. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you and I it will be ahead of others. Those who believe say a deeper amen. amen. First Samuel 17, verse 14. There was a boy called David. He wasn't working with general, but his brethren, his brothers were living with well-to-do man. And there arose a challenges. Sir, look at me. The world in which we are do not respect title. They respect those who have solution to problem. Most of those who rise to relevance in history, in the Bible, there are things you can point to their relevancy. It's not that I am schooled, I'm educated, I have this certificate. It doesn't matter. What do you become with it? Ordinarily, he wasn't trained to be a warrior. And after him, there was a legacy. Another person again went to war in the history of Israel and won through slink. That was the first of his kind. Why do I say David was one of those who exceeded expectation? He was only sent to check his brother's welfare. And look at the first statements in that verse 7. Let's look at the verse. First Samuel, verse chapter 17, that verse 14. Verse 14. And David was the youngest of the three eldest follow Saul. Let's continue, please. And David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening presented himself 40 days. Every ridicule Every ridiculous issue around your around your certificate, around your personality, may God eradicate them. Amen. A mighty time. We have about 15 to 20 minutes more. Now, he said, after this, he met Saul, the king. He introduced himself. I heard there was a reproach nobody can solve. Who demystify the glory and the power of our God? I will go for it. He said, you are too young for it. Anyone that say you are too young for any miracle, God will prove them wrong. 
Anyone that say you are too young to marry, God will prove them wrong. Anyone that says certain promotion is too much for your age, may God prove them wrong. The king gave him armory. He put it on. It was not suitable. He went in the strength of the Lord. Let's read from verse 50 to 55. I'll read that verse verses. 50 to 55. Can we please join me? One, two, go. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with stone and smote and the Philistine and slew him. But please, may I ask you, if you are going to war in that era, how do you go? And what? Shield, javelin, spear, bow, arrow. In the latest testimony in this Austin, Texas, shall be traced to you. Amen. Those who believe, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Unusual testimony become yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Therefore, want to go please join me? Philistine saw. They saw their champion dead. Can we continue? Of Judah shot. Ekron. Next verse. Do you know what? Many people are tied to your testimony. Who killed Goliath? Who was carrying spoil? When you read of verse 4, 54, what did David held on to? Do they ask him the head of Philistine? All they ask, we are having, we have been intimidated. There's an insult against our family. My little boy, uh, your boy, there's something, he has a profession he wants to do in primary school. And the school we arrange for them, <laughs> uh, training different vocations and professionals. And they will bring those different professionals to the school to teach them in the elementary class. So he has chosen a career. They, they bought the cloth for him. So suddenly the next one, I just saw that the mom bought military attire for him. <laughs> you know women and these children? And I'm not aware. <laughs> Bros, why are you going with military? You didn't tell me you have changed your plan. Small boy. Why do you choose to be a soldier? He said, daddy, there are two times we are going together. One man told you you are stupid. He said, there was a day he asked me, do you hear what he said? I said, what did he say? He said, I didn't have sense. He said, when we are doing training in the class, in the military class where I was, the soldier said, if you have one person as a military in your family, <laughs> small boy, he said, nobody can insult. I'm not hearing who. All of them began to carry all the possible items they like. But David killed him. Eliminate shame. He said, no. It's not only to eliminate shame. Let's have something in our museum. He carried the head of Goliath back home. He doesn't pay for musician. Musician was record free of charge. In his memorial. May your song remain in the mouth of many generations. In the name of Jesus. So it's not about size. It's not about noise. It's about the impact you make. And on these three. 
our prayer is dwelling today. How do I exceed the expectation? But before I ask this, let me ask. Of these three possible, which one do you want to attain? Below? To achieve expectation? Tell your neighbor, I don't know where you are going. I'm going above expectation. In the name of Jesus. I have seven things to say, but I've mentioned you need vocals, you need determination, but permit me to mention three or four so that we can able to pray. So you will not be here forever. <laughs> As Pastor Tani said, number one, set a goal that is not common. Tell your neighbor, please set a goal that is not common. I'm not hearing you. First Kings 5, 2 to 10. You can say Solomon had all the material. No, it's not true. Read your Bible. Yes, David has money, but he doesn't have all it takes. But he ride on the influence of his father. And in chapter 9, verse 1 to 2, Yes, in chapter 9, verse 1 to 2, the king of Tyre, he told him, I have a vision to build for the Lord, such that have not existed in Israel. The latest testimony, the latest idea will be yours in Jesus' name. I'm not hearing a resounding amen. May people buy your idea. May people key in into your vision. May people sponsor your vision in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why I said we should read that Bible text from verse 12. I was in a fix in pursuit of a certain vision that cost over 100 million. And I look at people around me. I have those who said it's not possible. Some said it categorically we will not support you. And I look at the income, it will take us like 10 to 12 years. And I said, it will be two years. Brethren, if you can explain how God take you to where you are, perhaps it's your common sense. But anyone that wants to go beyond what common sense can achieve, let him, say, let him or her say louder, Amen. Amen. There is a large place where you will say to people, I don't know how I arrived here. You are the next in line in the name of Jesus. Set a goal that is not common. Determine to be different. Number two, determination. Daniel 1 8. Daniel proposed in his heart, irrespective of whatever happened, this thing I have said to do, this life I have said to do, whether in Africa, whether in the diaspora, not of evil. Even when you are in the midst of challenges or evil matter, tell the situation you are not made for me. It's just a pruning. And I told God at the time, you know when you make announcement to the church, that church are tired of your announcement? And I don't know how to beg. Ah, no, I don't know how to beg. They told me, hey, there are some people, the culture here is that you need to identify with them, you need to go to their house. They go to people's house to beg to do what? And my eyes open unto this scripture. That may God Open his treasure. Ah, I say, I need this. I will go before the altar. I say, God, church account cannot take care of this. My income for 30 years cannot do this. God, whatever you do in the camp, redemption camp, Nigeria, whatever you are doing in Songwater, Kenya land, you can do it here. Even I'm serving the same God. Initially, 
budget was 70, less than 70 million. Until after it was completed, we discover it's over 140 million within two years. If what I'm saying today is true, Listen, brethren, whatever God has not done for you, he can't do it through you. I pray for all hearing me today on sight online. You are going beyond limits. Let the Lord hear your resounding amen. You will disappoint your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Be determined. Follow, set your goals. Number three, honest evaluation. Please don't give yourself a sweet appraisal. Rate yourself like teacher we do in those days. You know, when you get zero over five or ten, back in Africa, some teacher will draw air. <laughs> they will draw mouth. And mouth so that you know you did so bad. But never live with guilt of the past. Many of us are living in the past. And if you are romancing the past, you have no hand to receive what is coming ahead of you. Tell your neighbor, break the chain of the past. Say it louder. So, in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, he said, Examine yourself. When I remain where I was last year, have you asked yourself honest questions? What are the likely possibles that I'm not moving? I'm stereotype. God never wants anybody stereotype. He wants us to be moving from one level. Or the other. Let me mention this number. This should be number four. Take a risk. Tell your neighbor, take a risk. I can't hear you. Whether offering, whether tight, whether project, whether for your life, whether for personal investment, apart from church, take a risk for your life. Life itself is a risk. There are some operations. Doctor will tell you he's 50. But the person still went for it. But may I tell you that every risk you take based on biblical perspective, there is a guarantee risk. In the name that is above every other name, you will go beyond where you are. I say you are going beyond where you are. Let me close before we pray. Acquaint yourself. With the plan of God. Acquaint yourself with the plan of God. Multimedia Proverb 3, 5 to 8. I would like to read. Sometimes there are certain aspirations. Sorry, verse 7 please. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil and eat. Can we read together? Novel. Acquaint yourself with the Lord. What is God saying? I do tell some people, they say, where you can get best money is to work in oil company. But it's a lie altogether. Who know IT will rise to the point which it is today? You want to, you, you study geology, you study science to be at this. You could not get work at a petrol company. Even palm oil, palm, uh, palm oil do not employ you. <laughs> Must you work in oil company before you survive? I know when you get to abroad, you must to be a nurse or doctor. That's where money is. It's a lie. Is it lie, true or lie? It's a true lie. True lie. It's a true lie. My father in the Lord, as brilliant as he is, desired to be the youngest vice chancellor. But the Lord said, I will use your good brain in the church. 
Paul said, all these I have achieved, I count them as nothing. I rise not to importance or preeminence because of it. Doors that are open to me today, God opened it. He said, though there are many adversaries, he said, but I will attain them. If, a, if you could say what Paul said, I have fight a good fight. He left this world, I have finished my work. Crown of righteousness, of honor, awaited me in glory. He was ready to go because he knew he exceeded all the principles all the norms, all spiritual attack, he exceeded them. My daddy used to say, it is only a failure that have reason not to succeed. This syndrome of um, near, almost near the mark of the success, it will come to an end in our lives in Jesus name. We want to pray just five prayers. I want you to key in just like Peter said. He said, let it be unto me according to thy word. Peter was a fisherman. Jesus changed that his profession. Peter, if you want to rise to prominence, it is not about the food in the water. It's about the harvest God desires for you. As many of you that you are walking, you are not get fulfillment. The God who sits in heaven will realign your life. Amen. Any one of you in a wrong relationship, courtship, the Lord severe you out in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor, the Lord will direct your path. If you are the first that God is going to bless here today, be the first to rise on your feet. Uh -uh. Can we sit down again? <laughs> if you are the first, I uh, don't know. Please sit down. If you are the first, no, you sit down. It's not finished. Uh, you know, there is an adage if somebody wants to come. <laughs> How do I put that one in? <laughs> if somebody wants to say L, you don't know whether it's relevant. You don't know whether it's 11. Or elegant. Or elephant. Or Elohim. The first person to rise to prominence. You don't let me finish, so let me. <laughs> Tell your neighbor you will get there. Yeah. I had a revelation I shared with Pastor. Everyone that was here yesterday and those who watch it online, I say to you, congratulations. Yeah. I say it with all sense of humility and boldness in Christ. That victory is permanent in Jesus' name. Yeah. You want to pray three or four prayers. But can we close our eyes? Of all this thing that was mentioned, what shall profit a man if you gain the whole world and your soul rotting in hell? I plead with you in the name of the living God that you come to the side of the Lord. He's a merciful God. He's a compassionate God. He loves everyone. He identify with you even if you are a sinner. The only thing he hates is sin. If you are here today, my brother, my sister, you want to turn unto the Lord. You want to give your life to Jesus. Can you wave to the Lord? I'll pray with you. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Can you wave unto the Lord? It's a merciful God. If you are waving, you can wave to the Lord. I want to be a child of God. I want to reconcile with God. Can you wave that hand? Okay, praise the name of the Lord. If we are all his children, in the name that is above every other name, before the end of this month, 
you will become a voice that can be reckoned with. Amen. Oh my God, that amen is too shallow. I say it again. People will not need to be looking around for your names and for your address. Your name will be published for good in the name of Jesus. I want you to say, Father, Father. Before, we, before we ever pray at all, I just want us to lift the voice of thanksgiving. Say, Father, Father. thank you for your word. Today, let it be unto me, even according to your word. Can we pray in the name of Jesus Christ? According to your word, Lord, not what the economy dictates. Let it be unto me, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, let it be unto us. Let it be unto us. Thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want us to pray the first prayer. You will shout at the top of your voice. Let's today we say, let's pray like a baby. Not like, not like event. Not like somebody who feel that is disturbing other people. But want his father to hear him. I want us to pray and say, my father, my God. Can you say it one more time? Say it one more time. Your original or ultimate plan for my life. Let them manifest. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. When you come to a country such as this, sometimes the norms of the country can relegate you or marry you. You cannot be a star where you are coming from. A star is a star anywhere. So you will not be confined. Confined to a certain thing that is not your line. You can live there forever. If I don't know whether I'm communicating. May your relevant begin to speak. I'm not hearing that amen. May your relevance begins to speak. May you come out of your hidings. In the name of Jesus. I'm able to tell my member. If you are in this parish. And God will not answer your prayer. And you are with me for one year. I said I'm not your pastor. Except you are committing sin. Or you are against me. I want you to cry to God. Say, my father, my God. I refuse to be what enemy dictates. I refuse to be what the economy or situation of this country dictates. Father, let your purpose in my life prevail. If you are praying, let the Lord hear your voice. Pray, pray. I don't want this country to determine my destiny. The policy of this nation will not determine my destiny. I am a king. I am a king by birth. I have inheritance in Christ. My sister, pray. In Jesus' name we pray.
Whether online or site, I cannot tell. There's a woman here. You destroy your husband because of the rights in diaspora. You need to go and beg. You need to apologize. If not, you may not live long. I put it me. Because I know if you repent, you will. I don't want to say you will not. I don't want to speak like Isaiah. Who said you will surely die. And understanding the voice of God. Whether you are hearing me online or you are here. Put, come down from your horse, madam. Your destiny is tied to this man. All what you are receiving is just to eat and leave a right car. That is not. The glory of this man is more. Apologize, repent. Drop your arrogancy. Brethren. Please open your eyes. If I'm a servant of the Lord, if I'm called by God, every one of you that's supposed to be in the limelight, that's supposed to be is to be celebrated, and you are in hiding, in the name of Jesus, you are coming out today. I say you are coming out today. If such a woman is here, you can see your pastor, they can lend you wisdom on how to go about it. Don't try to pretend it's to complicate your case. And when it exposes, everybody will hear. Mark my word. Mark my word. Repeat the first prayer. I'm not too satisfied. Now, let me ask you a question. Please open your eyes. If you have a gold. In Ghana, if you get to Syria alone, what would they call it? Oh God. You are not sure now. If you have a gold in Nigeria, you bring it to London, America, what is it? Are you gold? Is your life have a good value? No, let's ponder before we pray. Do I want gold? Do I want diamond? Then you need to think what God said he made Abraham. Have I made thee? Can you please hold your neighbor? We are not laying hands. We are not doing what we did yesterday. But I'm telling you, God is here and God is with me. Cry to God, say, Heavenly Father, that which you have made me, let them manifest here in U.S. I refuse to be supplanted. I refuse to be changed. The policy of this nation will not change my destiny. I will rise beyond limits. Pray. Randa Sanda Ropo Ropo Sanda 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 Randa Robo O Rakanda Sanda Ropo Ropo Sanda Randa O Rakanda Sanda Ropo Ropo Sanda O Rakanda Sanda Ropo Ropo Randa Pray, pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If I can pray all the four prayers, but it's only two we can pray. Pregnant it and go and deliver it. Joseph left his father's house. God told him all he will be while he was at home. He got to the diaspora. It's one thing or the other. Policy, politics, hatred, opposition. He got there again. He was confined to prison. But he came out as a gold. Every dust around your gold. Hold your neighbor. Say, Father, I am a gold 
God valued. I am a God value personality. Every dust, every dust, every policy in the nation that cover my God be removed by fire. Prayer. Randa Sanda Robo Robo Sanda Randa Sanda Robo Pray, pray every dust Every dust That cover the bright The shining of my gold Better move, better move, better move Better move, better move, better move Better move, better move, better move Better move Better move Pray, pray. Randa Sanda Ropo Ropo. Orakanda. Randa Sanda Ropo Ropo. In Jesus' name we pray. I will limit the prayer to two, then one ministration. Leave your neighbor. Your vocals is essential. I cannot mention all those things. Your vocals, determination, they are all essential. But for the want of time, can you raise your hand to God? If we pain you, you may not raise it too high. It depends on what you want. But brother, if you believe God, that will be established. I pray to you, it will not be a history that you just live here. You will make him part. Yeah. Oh, that image is not born again. Yeah. I say you will make him part. Yeah. Cry to God. Say, my father, my God. I key into the prophecy of this month. I can hear your voice. From today, let me live above expectation. Let doors begin to open to me. Pray in the name of Jesus. Doors, 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 doors. Orakanda Sanda Ropo Robo, Orakanda Sanda Ropo Robo Sanda, 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 Pray! I receive the grace, I receive the strength to go beyond expectation. I will exceed every limit. In Jesus' name we pray. Which door do you want God to open for you? And we close with this. And if you are here, I won't bring you out. I will only pray for you. I even wish to lay hands, but I have instructions. I saw great enemies and they are all killed. Amen. One hand from the Lord is taking you out now. Amen. If you are that in that category, can you raise your hand to the Lord? Mommy, please, I need a voice of orchestra unto thee, O Lord. If you are not among these people, of whom I am one. Then you tell the Lord. Which door do you want him to open? You are coming back here. To testify. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Lower still. I trust in thee. Let me know. Let any mystery triumph over me on the
not to see those hands. Today, I hand over this hand into hands into your hand. Tear them out in Jesus' name. If I be man of God, I'm saying from today, take them out in Jesus' name. Take them out in Jesus' name. Thank you because it is done. Now everybody, can you pray and tell the Lord Father? Tell him the door you want him to open. Is he marriage? Is he womb? Is he womb? Pastor, those who raise their hand, help me anoint them. Please, if you raise your hand, let Pastor come to the front. I speak word of faith into it. Get into your hand and put on your head. Where is offering basket? Unto the permanent job oh my God. that hand will be connected I to a higher level you receive blessings and flow Let of joy Let not my enemies triumph. why the anointing is going can you crawl to the Lord say father please tell him the door you want him to open please be specific. Go ahead and pray. Tell him the door you Do want him to. I lift up my soul. Thank you. Unto the Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Oh my God. Oh my God. I Let's not my enemies triumph over me. Can we now ask for God? Lord, I need new openings. Is the promise of the Lord for me? And I share with you. Is the promise of the Lord for the church. Every time it will be open. That door will be open. Go ahead and ask the Lord the door you want God to open. Please go ahead. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Father, I decree now for every voice that say amen. That 
door is open. Ephrata. Ephrata. Open. Open. In Jesus matchless name we pray. Hallelujah. Now we can do better than that. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. I want us to lift the God's servant to the hand of God. Let's ask that the Lord will bless him. The Lord will replenish him. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, He that water shall be water also. Lord, thank you. We give you praise. You will water your servant back. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Now, is somebody blessed this morning? Amen. Let's, start, let's have our seat briefly. We'll be on our way now. By the grace of God, um, the month of July, our focus is going to be a taste of heaven. How many of us have a, have a taste of heaven? So... A taste of heaven, you can start having a taste of heaven. That's going to be our focus. I want to thank uh, the pastor for the month of June and the wife, that's Brother Buki and um, Sister Susan. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And so Sister Florence is going to be our pastor for the month of July. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Very soon, um, our light of San Antonio is coming on the 21st of July. Light of San Antonio. But I feel me, I send it to you. The flyer to you. So, it's coming up 21st of July. And they want all of us there to partake and everything. We don't know whether that Jew is coming for now. But light of San Antonio is the vision of our general overseer. And the Lord will bless us. That's in July 21st, a Saturday. And all leaders will be meeting on that Saturday morning. It's going to be uh, till 11 o'clock, but in the morning, uh, leaders will wait Saturday um, for a few time for talk and everything. And they will be on our way. And the Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will increase us more and more. In the name of Jesus. We are going to thank the Lord for this program. And um, you hear the servant of the Lord saying, why is the offering basket? So that we bless the Lord. And this time around, um, I just want whatever we want to give now to be a seed again into the life of God's servant. Okay? Whatever God lay in your head, we are sowing as a seed to his life. To his ministry. I was in the church, in his church to minister in month of April at Enugu. And um, to minister in that 140 million auditorium that they just built. And that's the biggest church now of the Redeemed Christian Church of Enugu. And that church was built in two years. I was there in the month of April. To minister there. And uh, I confess that because God will build our own for us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will raise millionaire among us Amen. that will join me in that I'm a millionaire. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we want to thank the Lord and we want to be a blessing in every way. So let's stand on our feet and then. We'll pray. And for those of us that were among the partners for this church, $100 a month, please, can you give me the email for that? It's seedfaith at amazinggracetx.org. If you are giving us $100 every month to support this work, that is where that money goes. Amen. And the purpose of that morning is that we pay the lease, rent, and everything without coming to tell you that we have not paid for lease. You understand? Say, 
is to support. Now, this one is different from your offering. This one is different from your tithe. Okay? And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. So, $100 as a token every month. And I said, once in two months, we'll gather on Zoom to pray for your business, your supper, and everything. So, please, if we have not gotten your name down, please, let's, let's have it and the Lord will bless us. But the one we want to do now is just say thank you unto God and to God's servant. He didn't send me home. So, that's this uh, home training. Amen. Let's stand on our feet. So if you are given on this platform, put it there for God's servant. Okay? When they say memo, put it there. God's servant. Amen. If you don't put God's servant, it goes to church. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Choir. God, you are so good. Blessed be your name. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. You are so good. Blessed be your name. In heaven, in heaven, you are the Lord. On heaven, you reign forever. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Jesus, you are so good. 